How's everyone doing? Today I have a horror Blu-ray collection update with four pickups. And if you've seen any of these, definitely let me know what you think of them. And let me know which one of these is your favorite. Leave me those comments down below. And all four of these start with the letter H, which is unintentional uh, for same letter pickups right here. I've done that actually recently with a different letter, letter S, uh, which I'm not sure if I've posted that one yet. I might be editing some stuff. So if you see that one, act surprised. But let me know which letter you have the most movies of, and especially horror movies. I think for me, I've got a lot of like S, M, uh, R actually too, A's. But I think those are like some of the, the main ones. M's and S's I think are like top two. Uh, first up is Hannah Dama, The Origin. Uh, this is a Japanese horror movie. Let me know what your favorite Japanese horror movie is. I really like a lot of like the J-horrors, like splatter films and stuff like that. Uh, Meatball Machine, Tokyo Gore Police. Uh, but I appreciate what they do because they do a lot of things that we don't do here in America as far as films. And I'm not sure if it has to do, you know, just with the culture or like, you know, suppression and repression of, you know, certain things, sexuality, religion, stuff like that. But uh, thematically, uh, they, you know, touch on subjects that we don't normally touch on here. Uh, this one, it seems like it's going to be uh, a mixture of melodrama and horror. Uh, it's about uh, somebody that's getting bullied in school. There's a love interest too, and it turns crazy here. Uh, she's got a uh, mysterious flower from her head, which empowers her with deadly skills to exact revenge. So it's going to be bloody crazy. Uh, there's the flower on her head. I'm intrigued. I, I saw some really, you know, quirky oddball ones recently. Dead Sushi was a fun one. Uh, really ridiculous. But I like movies like that. They're entertaining. Uh, there's one called um, R100, which I've never heard anybody mention. That is wild and I love it. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, you know, if you like those kind of crazy oddball, uh, movies, I definitely check that one out. And this one has some bonus features. This is released from Olive Films, which I've talked about, uh, recently. I couldn't find any information on why they, you know, shut down and haven't released anything in a while. But I noticed Sandpiper Films is a company that's releasing a lot of the same films that Olive Films had the rights to. And I haven't found anything on Sandpiper Films either. I remember looking for like a website, like any kind of social media couldn't find it. So uh, very interesting. But I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. It is a, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And I really liked all the films as a company as far as the titles they were releasing, you know, special features and stuff like that. And um, they had, uh, you know, their special edition line too, which I, I can't remember the name of right now, because unfortunately it wasn't around for very long. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like the Paramount Presents line. For them uh but i really enjoyed that line and I, I picked a few up uh i picked up high noon which is my favorite western movie um i digress let's get back into the the pickups looking forward to checking this one out it looks wild there's a flower going from her head and it's gonna be blood and craziness and drama sign me up uh next up is a full moon horror movie it's hideous aka deformed freaks i remember watching this one a while ago and i want to revisit it i actually did a uh phone interview with a Jacqueline Lavelle, who's an actress in here, and I just never got a chance to edit and upload it, and I really need to do that. It was an interesting interview. Uh, There's a little, you know, she touched on some drama with, uh, you know, Brinky Stevens, I believe, and some other people, and I thought that was interesting, but I also had a lot of editing to do. It was a, a long interview. Usually they would cap, uh, you know, the, the phone interviews, like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, you know, half an hour if you're lucky. It went like, uh, like 48 minutes or so. Uh, but she was a hoot to say the least and a really quirky character in here kind of uh you know like a henchman character in one scene she was like topless and wearing like a, a gorilla mask and she had somebody at gunpoint it was interesting and wild uh and it looked like it was pretty cold out <laughs> but this is basically about uh dr lorea who is a a collector of biological oddities and they have this uh, specimen right here uh, who is a mutant born of toxic sewage. But uh, this is the creature's rightful owner wants it back. So the collectors are, you know, battling. And uh, then the specimen comes to life. And uh, the specimen is angry and, you know, reanimated and uh, oozing. And uh, it's got a little army of hideous freaks there. Uh, I remember this one being just, you know, wild, ridiculous, over the top. But uh, entertaining for me. You have to like full moon horror uh, low budget horror like this. Uh, you know, I like the, you know, little creatures right there, the effects for them, like the stop motion and stuff. This is directed by Charles Band. Let me know what your favorite 
Charles Band directed movie is. He's produced like a ton. And let me know what your favorite Full Moon movie is. I feel like Full Moon, you know, a lot of people think of like Ginger Dead Man, Evil Bong, Killjoy, stuff like that. But they've done a lot of great ones. You know, obviously Puppet Master. Uh, I think my favorite Charles Band directed movie is Trancers. Love the heck out of that one. Um, but, you know, my favorite horror movie is one I talk about all the time, Ad Nauseam on here. Uh, and one that I think is underrated too, a slasher movie from the 70s called Tourist Trap. It's a supernatural slasher movie. Chuck Connors playing the character of Mr. Slauson. Uh, Tanya Roberts is in there too. I really like the cast. And mannequins have always creeped me out. So there's mannequins in there. But uh, growing up, that was like one that like super creeped me out. I still think it's uber creepy today. Uh, but I feel like that one deserves way more love and appreciation. That's a, uh, got a full moon Blu-ray release. David Schmoller directed that one. Uh, he directed the first Puppet Master movie too. And I know there was like controversy over the first Blu-ray release because there were some scenes that were edited out, but it was just like, you know, like exterior shots and stuff. It, it wasn't anything that was too relevant to the plot, but uh, they have re-released it with all the scenes in there. Yeah, I'm a fan of Full Moon. Um, they've got some really interesting stuff. I've been watching them since I was a little kid. So uh, I enjoy what they put out. And next up, we've got two Hammer Horror Films double features from Mill Creek. I've actually picked up a bunch of Hammer Horror stuff recently uh, from Mill Creek, from uh, Imprint over in Australia. They're a company that's releasing, uh, you know, Blu-rays, and uh, they do an incredible job. Their slipcase limited editions for standard films are amazing, and then their box sets are just incredible. One of my favorite companies releasing Blu-rays. They're region-free, so definitely check out Imprint uh, over in Australia. Some awesome films, some movies that we don't have here uh, on Blu-ray in the U.S., so I've picked up some ones specifically for that, like Mothman Prophecies regarding Henry, <laughs> just a couple, uh, but their Hammer Horror box set was awesome. Uh, but this one right here is The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll and The Gorgon, uh, which are both directed by uh, Terrence Fisher, and Terrence Fisher also directed uh, The Revenge of Frankenstein and The Horror of Dragula, I believe, too. But uh, three of these were directed by Terrence Fisher, and then uh, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb is directed by... Uh, Michael uh, Carabias, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to checking these ones out. I haven't, I think I might've seen uh, parts of the Revenge of Frankenstein a while ago, but um, I don't think I've seen the rest. I've been wanting to see the Gorgon for a long time. And uh, let me know what your favorite Hammer Horror movie is. And you know, your favorite Hammer Horror actor and director. Uh, I feel like there's some great ones out there. When I think of Hammer Horror, I think of like Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, and one of my favorite horror movies of all time, favorite movies of all time, is The Horror Express. Also has uh, Telly Savalas in it, but I love that one so much. My all-time favorite movie is John Carpenter's The Thing. And I feel like those movies, The Horror Express and uh, The Thing, have some similarities there. But uh, I digress. Uh, but Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee uh, team up again here in The Gorgon. And uh, this is one where there's a creature that can turn people to stone. And we got the two faces of Dr. Uh, Jekyll, which, you know, Dr. Jekyll take again. And then uh, Revenge of Frankenstein, Curse of Mommy's Tomb. So a lot of these classic monsters, universal monsters and stuff that we've seen for a while with uh, the Hammer Horror take. And uh, let me know what your favorite universal monster is. Uh, for me, it's the creature from the Black Lagoon. I grew up with that one. I always thought that was interesting. It has some, you know, eco horror going on. The sequels could have been better, but I uh, still enjoy those ones too. And uh, I'm excited to check all these out. Again, I think I've only seen parts of The Revenge of Frankenstein a long time ago. And, you know, to be honest, I remember watching like a lot of these, you know, late at night. I think maybe TCM had some stuff on when I was younger and, uh, you know, seeing parts of a lot of these ones. I feel like they got mixed up over the time. And I've seen uh, a few Hammer Horror films, but I haven't seen these ones, especially um, Revenge of Frankenstein in its entirety. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking them all out. And I'll go ahead and show you. They are on a single disc right there and same here and these are from the 1950s and 60s let me know what your favorite 50s horror movie is and your favorite 60s horror movie uh and let me know what your favorite decade for horror is for me it's the 80s with the 70s being a close second uh, I like some uh, 50s horror a lot too, especially um, the Vincent Price House of Wax, which is a remake. And, you know, people think of the Paris Hilton House of Wax, which was a remake of a remake, which I think that was actually really entertaining. That one gets a bad rap. Uh, but the uh, Vincent Price House of Wax was an incredible remake and one of my favorite horror remakes out there. But it's a remake of the Mystery of the Wax Museum, which I love that one too. The whole franchise is good for me for the uh, House of Wax right there. But uh, I digress. That's one of my favorite 50s horror 
but there we go. Those are the four horror Blu-ray pickups, all starting with the letter H. Well, these ones for the Hammer film double features right there, but the films themselves don't start with the letter H. But uh, there you go. Let me know if you've seen any of these and what you think of them, and let me know which one of these is your favorite. Leave me those comments down below, and I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.